Okay, before we get started, let me remind everyone to please turn off your cell phones during news conferences. Additionally, flash photography is not permitted. Welcome to Kansas's press conference. Kansas's sports information contact is Doug Self. Joining us on the podium are head coach Brandon Schneider and student athletes Tiana Jackson and Holly Kurzgeter. Coach Schneider, would you like to make an opening statement? Uh, uh, credit to uh, Georgia Tech on having an outstanding season. Um, just have a tremendous amount of respect for, for Coach Fortner and, and the job that she's done throughout her career. Um, couldn't be prouder uh, of our young women um, in their fight and determination um, really throughout the entire ball game. Thank you, Coach. We'll now take questions for the student athletes. As a reminder, please state your name and affiliation at the beginning of your question, and please limit yourself to one question and at most one follow-up. If you're on the Zoom call, please use the raise hand function, and I will call on you if time permits. Hi, ladies. Janie McCauley from the Associated Press. Uh, you jump out to, to a quick lead, and then they sort of um, got things together. And then what, what, what did you talk about to, to kind of get back to playing your style and, and uh, on both ends uh, making things happen once they got it close again? Uh, I mean, they just kind of played harder than us, and so we either had to, we couldn't rely on them, you know, to stop making shots or to stop playing hard. We had to fix it ourselves. So um, it wasn't really X's and O's. It was just kind of mental. Like, hey, we kind of expect runs to happen. It's, it's how you respond. So, uh, and obviously we responded well. Because, um, I mean, we took the lead at halftime, and then we never lost the lead again, I don't think. So we did well. It, it, it seemed like when you got it back together you were making one extra pass to find the high percentage shot and just one more pass and an unselfish play that made made it really flow yeah the, the chemistry today was really good um just the penetration i thought was i mean you know it was off at times but that's that's going to happen and so when we made the right plays it was we finished and it was it was really good uh sam get the names of the players no ha, ha, oh, you just can't see. Holly and Tiana. Okay. Uh, John Reed, uh, AGC. This is for the coach. Uh, sorry, uh, we're student athletes for now. Oh, we'll do bad. coach after. Okay. Well, there was a lot of talk, at least in my story, about uh, the kind of the bigs matchup. Did you, it seemed like it wasn't that much. It was kind of semi an interior game, but there's a lot of perimeter stuff, too, in that game. Uh, you, you can have it. Um, yes, definitely. Our plan was to work inside out, and that's what we did. We had success on inside and out, so. Any more questions for the student athletes? Holly, how, how much? Um how much fun is it to play with with Tiana, you know, doing what she what she does to to make things difficult in the middle and 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 on both ends, being able to find her in the paint on offense. Yeah, I mean, it just you know when you have that dependability in the paint, you know, it's kind of like a relief. Like, hey, I know she's going to do her job. Um, and you know, there's obviously plays where she can go one on one, and a lot of others aren't involved, and so it's not a lot of. There's more times where it's fun watching her too, um, and just to have you know that presence in the paint, it's it's great to have her you know behind us when you know sometimes plays we get beat and, and stuff like that. And I think her offense is the underrated part of her game. People see her as a defensive presence, and we know how much she's capable offensively, and she's just as big of a threat. So it's really fun to play with her, fun to watch her. You mentioned that word chemistry, and I know. The, the daunting stretch that your team had um, in the last, what, five or six games against pretty much top ten opponents. But what did that do for this group to, you know, prepare you for this stage? Yeah, it, it built us. And there are times and there are teams who see that and kind of go downhill. Um, but we've just kind of put an emphasis on, you know, helping it let us grow. And, uh, you know, this team, we have a lot of veterans. We've been through a lot together, and we've never been – here, so we, we were ready. Um, we were really excited, and so uh, it, it showed today. Any more questions for the student athletes? 
Okay, thank you, Tiana and Holly. You can head back to your locker room. Appreciate it. Thank you. We'll now take questions for Coach Schneider. As a reminder, please state your name and affiliation at the beginning of your question. John Reed, Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Uh, I was kind of trying to analyze that game. You know, besides the initial 10 nothing and 12-0 run on, on their part, uh, it seemed like they couldn't get enough stops. You had kind of an answer. You hit key buckets. And when they tried to make a run, and you were hustling well on defense, too. And I thought that that was a big part of it. You know, I think um, we were able to uh, ignite our offense. Um, you know, with our defense, uh, we, we did a good job limiting them to, to offensive rebounds. I think they only had nine um, in the entire game. So uh, that was really important for us, was, was trying to get stops and then uh, push pace as, as much as possible. Hi, Brandon. Janie McCauley from AP. Along those lines, it does seem like this group makes the extra pass to find the, the, the best shot and just does the little things that, that make you go. That's how we have to play to be successful. Um, you know, we don't have a, uh, in a, a Big 12 MB, MVP candidate on our team. Um, we don't have a star. Um, but I think we've got a team of good players uh, who understand that if they play the right way and have each other's back and um, try to out-team uh, the opponent, then they have a chance to be successful. And the way you withstood that run kind of mid, late first quarter, early second, to then get back on track before halftime, how, how key was that? Um, and does that go down to your, your veteran leadership? Well, right it, it all started with an, an offensive rebound on the free throw line, which we makes our skin crawl. Um, so it was a hustle play on, on Georgia Tech's part, and I think they got a three out of it. And then a possession later, they got a loose ball where they were the first team to the floor. Um, you know, signs that they were just playing harder than us. And, um, you know, you're, you're never going to have success if you let somebody outcompete you. They might outplay you, they might out ex execute you. But uh, in those moments, we were letting them outcompete us. And, and uh, I thought that's when we, we had a, a change of mindset. What did you say exactly at that point? Or was there somebody who said something in the huddle that, that mattered? I, I think we all recognized it. And, um, you know, we've, we've had stretches, obviously, in the year where that's happened. Um, and, uh, you know, we wanted to uh, uh, respond as, as quickly as possible. How much did that, that stretch late in the season? I mean, <laughs> the opponents you played, I mean. That... Uh, you know, we had the toughest schedule in the country the last four games. Um, played three teams in the top ten and then uh, played Oklahoma, who's a, who's a four seed and a top 20 team back-to-back. We didn't allow it to discourage us or to break us or to fragment us. Um, we tried to accentuate all the positives in, in each one of those games and, and know that, um, you know, when you play that kind of competition, you can't simulate that in practice. So uh, when you play that kind of competition, it makes you better. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully there was evidence of that today. We're going to go to Zoom for our next question. Uh, Jesse, you should be able to unmute yourself and ask your question. So we're having some technical difficulties on that question. Can you try asking that question one more time? Sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah, we got you now. Yeah, you got me? Yes, thank you. OK. Sorry. Hey, Jesse, no, I can't say star. Hey, Brandon, Tiana had to sit first half with those two fouls. What did you think of her? Uh, I thought she was terrific. And um, you know, probably the primary difference in the second half. Uh, we really debated uh, playing her with two. Uh, in the first half, but we were fortunate to make a little run and and uh, not get it out of not let it get out of hand. But um, you know, I thought she was terrific on on both ends of the floor. One of her more complete games, uh, in particular in the second half uh, of the entire season. Have you been able to watch any? film on Stanford and I'm not I mean so I, far and, and today. Uh, I, I have not um, you know obviously we have a, a, a scouting report done on on uh, 
both of our potential opponents, and, and we have staff that, that are working on that. But, um, you know, I'll get to work on our next opponent, uh, obviously, this evening. Um, players need to celebrate and enjoy this, but the coaches are going to work. And, and last, last season, Tara's team couldn't even be on campus for almost 10 weeks. They, they practiced in a gym out, you know, yeah. Santa Cruz, that the lights went out. I mean, can, can you from afar imagine how she did that and, and took her team to a national title? Um, I think one of the most impressive accomplishments um, in sports. Um, it, was, it was unbelievable. And uh, she's obviously um, uh, a coach that we all look up to and admire and, and uh, try to emulate maybe in, in, in building our programs the right way with the sustainability that, um, that Stanford's had for so many years. Um, Kiana Williams, who's a point guard on that team, we recruited her and were very close to her. So um, we were rooting for her to, to have success. Thank you, Coach Schneider. Uh, a recording of this press conference will be available in the NCAA mm -hmm. Digital Media Hub at ncaa.veritone.com. Transcripts are provided by ASAP and will be posted shortly. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Coach.